Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. Today, I'm going to be going over power questing and how to power quest effectively. Now, two questions may arise from this. The first, Noah, what is power questing? If you're new to power questing, basically what it is, is it's when you have two separate accounts. Obviously, both need to have membership, whatever. You have two separate accounts and you quest them both up at the same time. Now, there's two ways that you could go about this is questing two characters that are the same level, which wouldn't really be power questing, more just be questing with yourself. Or having a high level, like my 140 fire, questing up a lower level character. And this makes it go a lot faster. So... There's that. And then the second question that may arise is, Noah, how do you power quest effectively? I mean, it's just power questing. Like, it's obvious. How can you do it in a more effective manner? Well, I'm here to teach you that. So, first things first. The introduction to power questing. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to launch the game and have both accounts. You have to launch the game, sign into one, press play, then open the launcher because you cannot open the launcher twice. So do it like that and you'll be fine you get both of them open and you're fine now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn off full screen mode um and then you're going to want to find which resolution is the best for you so if i switch to display capture here oh god you can see me an infinite amount of times okay so you can see this is the resolution i like to use where it's uh just a little bit of my screen so i move it up here and you can see i can move around like normal then I want to go to my second game and I want to do the exact same thing and then move it so it's right here. So you can see now I can switch back and forth between the, um, the screens extremely easily and it's very easy to power quest. So there's that. The, um, basically what you're going to want to do is you just want to quest with one of them and then the other one will teleport go into battles and stuff now i'm going to tell you how to do it effectively because effectively is what is a different story it's a it's a completely different uh beast to tackle how do you do it effectively well there's a few things i want to say first off um is as i said last video mark locations are very very good but in um in this with power questing sometimes you don't need to leave a mark because you can just have your second character teleport to you and then use them as a mark location so they stay where you want to be so say i marked my location back there and now i want to go back there you go i go back my fires here it's like a mark location but without costing mana that can be very useful you can also leave multiple marks on other characters or like you can leave a mark on one character, a mark on the other character, use it to get around a lot faster. Definitely one thing to note. Um, sorry, I just started spacing out like really hard. Um, one another thing you want to know is um, is getting caught in battles. Like I've mentioned in the past, you escape quit. It might be a bit harder with two people, so you might want to flee. That's something to note. Um, let me pause real quick and gather my thoughts. Oh God, I can see myself an infinite amount of times. Whoa. Um, let's, let's turn game capture back on now that you've seen it. Um, sorry, I, I need to gather my thoughts. I lost them completely. All right. So from here on out, the tips I'm giving are less, um, they're more just general tips that I want to give because I think that it's important to note. Uh, so first off, if you have a high level like a 140 with even decent crit and semi-decent damage, you do not need to use high level spells for a lot of power questing. So what I mean by this is, is that in Celestia, you can still one shot a boss with Meteor Strike on a fire. You do not need to bring, you don't need to bring high level spells until maybe, in my opinion, Avalon. Realistically, you can use Meteor Strike the entire time throughout it, and it'd be effective. So keep that in mind. You don't really want to bring too many high-level spells because it can waste a lot of time. Um, <clears throat> another thing to note is that if it's um, if it's faster, just pass on the lower-level character that you're power questing because they don't need to do anything. Realistically, the higher level is going to do all the work. 
Um, if you're questing two at the same time, it's important to know that, um, sorry, I haven't drank my coffee yet. <laughs> I'm very tired if you can't notice. Um, you know, I'm going to nix that point because I have no idea what I was going to say. But, um, one thing I'd like to do, let's, let's actually go back to the multi-screen. Originally, I wasn't going to go back to the multi-screen, but I'm going to go back to the multi-screen because I forgot to do what I was going to do. All right. Uh. There we go. Ah, uh, infinite amounts. Okay. So this is important because to me, this is, can be an easy way to, um, it's an, it's a helpful tip for questing too at the same time. So one thing that can be very helpful is if you didn't know to prevent yourself from going AFK, you press D and shift at the same time. Right. And then your character will spin around infinitely. Um, if you didn't know, that's how people prevent themselves from going, uh, getting disconnected due to inactivity. That's a way to prevent yourself from going AFK, but the same process can be extremely helpful when questing two characters. So, for example, say, say I'm questing two at the same time, they're on the same quest, and they both need to talk to Edith Benchley. Instead of walking one of them there, and then pressing go to location on the other one, which would be a little bit slower, I can press W and shift on one, and then click on the other screen to press W and shift, and you can see I can move both of them at the same time. Um, be wary, this can be a bit annoying to use when, um, when you don't want to get caught in battle. If there's, like, some kind of, uh, battle, uh, it can be extremely hard to navigate, but you can see it with enough practice, you can get, uh, used to navigating two at the same time without getting in a battle. Um, it can be a bit difficult, though, so keep that in mind. Um, you just want to angle them, you know, where they're going. So you can see, um, I, I have a lot of practice with this cause I've quested up myself a lot, but, um, it can be useful to do stuff like this to, uh, get places because, you know, if one person wants to walk one place, one person wants to walk the other place, uh, that can be a useful way to counteract that. So that's all I really wanted to, uh, say in this video, uh, the, uh, let's do that. Okay, there we go. That's all I really wanted to say, like how to effectively power quest. Uh, I'm sorry this video was a bit more disorganized. I honestly completely forgot half the stuff I was going to say while doing it because I am very, very tired. But <clears throat> that was the gist of this video. I wanted to show you how to power quest, how to do it effectively, give you some tips on it. Let me know if you found that helpful, if you found this useful. Um, if you have any tips for power questing, leave them in the comment section below. But that's all I have to say for today. If you enjoyed, drop a like at the sub button, and I will see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day. Thank you all for watching.